Everybody, this is Chick Hearn speaking to you from the beautiful and the spacious Thomas and Mack Center, where tonight, the number one team in the country, the UNLV Running Rebels, take on ninth-ranked midshipmen from the United States Naval Academy. Jerry Tarkanian's team has a perfect 10-win, no-loss record, while Navy comes into the game under their coach Pete Herman with a 5-1 and record. Tonight's game is brought to you in part by the Las Vegas Convention and Visitors Authority and by Royal West Airlines. This game is an exclusive of United International Productions, Dick J. Manoogian, executive producer. Ladies and gentlemen, a very pleasant good evening to you. Our pregame show is brought to you by the Las Vegas Convention and Visitors Authority. Hi, I'm Chick Hearn, and welcome to the Thomas and Mack Center, where tonight a crowd that might get to 20,000 fans in this building that seats 18-5 will see the number one team in the nation. The UNLV Running Rebels under Jerry Tarkanian go against Pete Herman, the wonderful team from the United States Naval Academy. We'll call them the mids or the midshipmen, and their record is 5-1, and one, and they're ranked number nine in the country. Tarkanian's crew is 10-0. The difference in games played? Well, the uh, mids haven't played until two nights ago in three weeks. And that's a long time. You can get pretty rusty going back and taking your test that long a period. But they played very well here on their opening night. A lopsided win over Idaho State. Prevailing over Old Dominion were the running rebels for their 10th consecutive victory. And tonight, it's a head-on clash. This always going Las Vegas City is in an uproar anticipating this one. Everybody is talking about nothing except Dave Robinson and the uh, mids and of course the UNLV running rebels. They got their great guy Gilliam. They've got Freddie Banks. They've got a little guy playing guard by the name of Wade that hands out 11 assists a game. But the real story tonight is can UNLV contain David Robinson? Or do they have to maybe not contain him, giving him season's average, season's average of 30 and stop the rest of the midshipmen? That's going to be the story as it unfolds tonight. Tarkanian is going to start, not his regular center, Baz Knight, but Robinson. So it'll be Robinson against Robinson in there. And it's Richard Robinson going for UNLV, and he is going to front defensively David Robinson to try to keep the ball out of the big guy's hand because he's the best shooter in the country at 64%, averaging, as I said, 30 points. He also averages on the year 12 rebounds, and he blocks four shots a game. Right now, he would be odds-on favorite, David Robinson of the United States Naval Academy, to be the player of the year. He's going to set, perhaps, the NCAA mark, the first player in history ever to score 2,500 points in a career. And, of course, he's also going to try to be the best rebounder in the history of the NCAA, excuse me. And I think it's going to be a treat for all of us tonight as we get together and watch these two titans of collegiate basketball battle here in this magnificent building. It is a cool evening in Las Vegas, Nevada. That's on the outside. This building is going to heat up, and so will the fireworks. Pete Herman, in his first year of coaching, and Jerry Darkanian, the winningest percentage-wise active coach in all of basketball. Pete Herman was an assistant to Paul Evans for the last six years at the academy. He already has shown that he has a good grip on the job and a total domination of the entire basketball scene at the academy with his club a 5-1 and one record. We are so proud to invite you to join us tonight. What will be a simulcast, radio and television, and I'm Chick Hearn, and we want you to know that we've been brought to you on this pregame show by the Las Vegas Convention and Visitors Authority. Back with more in a minute. You guys were easy last year. Whoa, whoa, come on, admit it. You cheated. Cheated? Us? That guy was a ringer. No. That guy was a monster. Besides, what's good for your complexion? <laughs> hey, and don't forget, we let you share our beer. Remember? That draft beer was unbelievable. That it yeah, was. Sure was. Drinking Miller Genuine Draft will remind you of the best beer you've ever had. Because it's cold filtered for real draft smoothness. It's beer at its best. Who? There's money right. <laughs> Book them at the Circus Circus Race and Sportsbook, the newest action in town. Enjoy the latest state-of-the-art electronic wall boards and computerized wagering system. Watch giant screen TV, live televised horse racing from all major tracks. Winning tickets cash 24 hours a day. Catch your favorite games on 21 TV monitors. Circus Circus Race and Sportsbook open 8.30 a.m. every day. Park free in the adjoining Skyrise Garage, third level. The Skyrise Circus Circus Race and Sportsbook, midway on the Las Vegas Strip. Every day I'm trying harder, my goal is pleasing you.
When you rent a car from Avis, it comes with a lot of people who want to make sure you're satisfied. Reservation and counter people, mechanics, managers and maintenance people. They're Avis. You may not always see them, but they're there. Rent a Cadillac Seville from Avis for only $45 a day. Now, on Royal West Airlines, you can fly to Burbank, LAX, or Ontario for only $29. No advance purchase necessary, but seats may be limited, so call now, 798-6444. Royal West, non-stop to Burbank, LAX, or Ontario for only $29. Just call Royal West, 798-6444. The fabulous Bally's Grand in the heart of the Las Vegas Strip offers the best in entertainment with two main showrooms. The Ziegfeld Theater features Don Arden's super spectacular Jubilee. It's a kaleidoscope of colorful costumes and incredible production numbers, including the sinking of the Titanic. And appearing right next door in the celebrity room is Wayne Newton. The best in entertainment is yours at Bally's Grand. Hi again, everybody. Chick Hearn looking at the huddle of the running rebels of Jerry Tarkanian, the number one team in the land, going against the number nine team tonight. And, of course, that's the United States Military Academy, the mids or the midshipmen, as they're recognized under their great coach, Pete Herman, in his first year. It should be an outstanding basketball game with Carl Lieber, the 6'6 forward, pairing up front with Derek Harper at 6 feet 7. The center will be the nation's top player at the moment, David Robinson. Last year he played at 6'11". He has grown two inches to 7 feet 1. More about that later on in his career with the Navy. Cliff Reese, a 6'4 guard and a good one, a strong defender. And their best playmaker, Dud Wojcik, he is at 6'2", 182. Armin Gilliam, they call him the hammer, will be up front at 6'9", 230. The Pittsburgh man is a senior and playing great, averaging 24 a game. Gerald Patio, 6'8", 195, a junior out of Rain, Louisiana, at the other forward. At center tonight, Richard Robinson, their best defender at center, Tark says. He's from Granada Hills, Kennedy High School, 6'10", 205. Mark Wade, an outstanding assist man, 11 a game, and a great three-point shooter and ball handler, Freddie Banks, at the guards. Jerry Tarkanian, Tim Gergerich, Mark Warkenstein, and Ralph Readout. The coaches for the running Rebels. Jerry Colosi is the trainer. And Pete Herman has John Fitzpatrick, Dave Latton, and Emmett Davis as his assistants with Red Romo as the trainer. The referees will be Terry Hackett, Al Hackney, and Paul Arneson. Hackett will make the toss. The place is loaded with NBA scouts. They're thirsting to get this 7-1 David Robinson. He leads the nation in scoring 30 points a game. He blocks four shots a game. He gets 12 rebounds a game, and he shoots 64% better than anyone in the nation. And this summer, in the World Game in Spain, he was a teammate and a roommate of Armin Gillian of the Running Rebels. That's going to be something to see. I want to tell you later on whether or not David Robinson will be able to play in the NBA next year. All right, the ball is up, and he outjumps his opponent and tips the ball in the front court to Liebert. Liebert in deep, a bank at 12 No, The rebound is off. Three ball, battered around like a volleyball. Taken underneath by Turner, put it up, though, but he's fouled. He'll shoot two on the foul by Richard Robinson. If I did not tell you, this is a simulcast, ladies and gentlemen. Our audio goes to radio and television simultaneously. I am working alone tonight as our co-worker is down with the flu and laryngitis. So we hope that you will enjoy it wherever you are around the country. Two shots coming for number 24, Derrick, D-E-R-R-I-C, from Burt, Virginia, at the Lake Braddock High School. When you were there, he was the most valuable player. Big kid, nice-looking lad. Only a 50% free throw, which is not good. The only weakness in David Robinson's game is free throwing. As we told you, this kid is a sophomore at 6'7", 218 pounds. That's 20 years of age. One to nothing. The United States Naval Academy leads the number one team in the country. Here comes Wade down the floor. He can do it all with the pass. He is just like Wojcik of the uh, Navy Club. The 2-1-2 two -two zone. Now out of the cross-court pass to Patio. Bob underneath. He's got a five-footer He had 35 here against Old Dominion. 
in the first game of the tournament. Now here's Wojcik giving the ball against Wade. Two great passes, two tough basketball players. Wojcik is 6-2. Pass in low. Robinson wanted to knock it loose. Gilliam, the guy that did it, coming from the weak side. Wade down the middle. Wade all the way. There is a foul on the play, and it's going to be called blocking. The foul is on Cliff Reese. Well, he appeared to have pretty good position back there, and Wade went right into him. Take a look at it on the simulcast leg of television. Down the middle, 44 is set, and that was charged all the way in our opinion. The basket would still have counted, but the charge would have gone against Wade. As it is, it's 4-1, to one, and Wade goes to the Wade is not a great score, but he sure can pass. He's averaging four points a game. As a free thrower, he's now made 10 of 11 this year. All right, the inbound pass against full court pressure. They're going to try to harass the Navy. Try to sink him out of the back court. Now the ball to the front court is given off to number 44, and that's Cliff Reese. To the playmaker, Doug Bojic. Bojic is sophomore, sophomore all the way. He is a senior. Lob underneath, too high. Bad pass off the hand of Robinson. Robinson is the heart of the team, but believe me, the others compliment him beautifully. And consistency in that complimentary is very, very good. 5-1 UNLV in the opening minutes of play. Thomas and Max Center. We're in Las Vegas, the battle on the simulcast. Banks gives the ball to Wade. Wade is from San Pedro, California. Went to Banning High School. San Pedro, for you fans around the nation, is just outside of Los Angeles. Here's the ball over to Banks. Drive the base. In the air. Throws up a 17 footer. It's an air ball by two. He forced the shot a little bit. Good defensive pressure applied. The rebound is taken by Lieber. Now down the floor it goes to Wojcik. His 16 footer no. Rebound underneath. Nice play. Turner missed it. The rebound is already taken by Banks. Banks out of the backcourt is five on two. Now her coming from behind. Steal the ball. Robinson, the big center at 7-1, made the steal. We go the other way, and this is Wojcik in deep. He pump fakes, can't shoot over her banks. Gives him trail man Robinson. They're having trouble getting the ball to Robinson. Twice he's been denied. Once by a teammate's bad pass. Here's the pass to him. That's where he operates. He puts it up in his foul. Second foul on Richard Robinson. I said this is the only chink in his armor. He is not a good free thrower. 62 percent. Last year he was 62 percent also. That's a good pass in deep. He did bring the ball down and sometimes you'll get a block down there around the belt buckle. Usually the big men are taught to keep it up as high as they can. He has grown two inches since last year. This is the second number one ranked team that the Academy has played in 1986. They played Duke last year in 1986 in the tournament. NCAA got beat in the Eastern Regionals by Duke. They ultimately lost in the finals to Louisville. The free throw is good by the left hand. The next one is good. He's too big at 7-1 to be assigned to a boat. He's too big for a jet aircraft, so I'll tell you more about that later. Here's a jump shot by Banks from 22. No. Rebound is off. Gilliam wants it. And jump ball. Jump ball between Carl Liebert. Of Floyd's Knob, Indiana, 6'6", number 40 in the blue. The ball will go out of bounds, of course, take turns, alternate in college, and it will go out the first time to UNLV. The ball is inbounded, clear out near the 10-second line to Wade. Wade says will run play number three. Wade dribbles with both hands, brings the ball over to Patio. His 20-foot shot, no good, the rebound is off, and straight out of bounds it goes. That would have been the three-pointer had he have made it. That's what you call a team rebound, if you wonder about that. Team rebound. All right, full court pressure again. Robinson comes back, and he gets the ball. Robinson holds it up and gives it to the guy that he wants to have it. And I'll tell you a big story about those two. He gives it to Wojcik. Wojcik in the front court against Wade. Bounce the ball over to Lieber. Out in front, clear the ball to Turner. Turner on the simulcast takes it to the far side. Now pass in deep. Underneath there with the ball to Lieber. Puts him up, didn't get it. Rebound is off. Jump ball. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Navy. A lot of the people thought that... Robinson of the um, midshipman was over the back too much. Referee says no. We played two minutes and 34 seconds and pushing and shoving as the guys work for a position on the inbound pattern. Pete Herman's Navy Club against Jerry Tarkanian's Rebel. Pass out of front to Robinson. Dribble by in the air. Put it up in the block by Gilliam. Back to Robinson. Put it up. Blow it. Rebound is off a free ball taken by Banks. Banks can scoop with it. Here he comes. In deep all the way. Lay it in. 
seven to three. UNLV leads the Navy. Now here is Wojcik having trouble getting the front court. He throws a horrible pass and down there went in the basket. That was a pass and a ricochet out of bounds. It hit inside the cone, believe it or not. He was passing it for, I guess, Robinson. Nobody else is tall enough to go that high. Robinson, will, if when he gets the decision in May, whether or not he can play professional basketball next year, he would get restricted line billet. That would be working in intelligence, supply, engineering, PR, recruiting. All right, the ball down the middle of Gilliam. Gilliam in deep. Pick up the left hand for a foul. No, but there's a foul. The foul is on Robinson. David Robinson, first foul. He is fouled out of one game this year. So the pros in the NBA are hoping that he gets permission to come to the league. I've heard at least six general managers say that they would take him if he played only once a month. Once a month for five years, that wouldn't be many games. He's got five years facing him to serve. However, Napoleon McCallum had a situation, but that's different. In pro football, he went to the Raiders, remember? But they only play one game a week. Out of the ball game is Robinson for UNLV, and here is Jarvis Basnight in, number 44 in white. The free thrower, Gillian. The free throw looks for his third point and gets it. And it's now an 8-3 ball game. UNLV favored coming into the contest. Taking the ball baseline back toward the Carl Lieber. He's got pressure from Baznight. Pass in at the baseline, cleared off, and he gets pressure too as Wojcik. Wojcik double team, leaves the ball in the front court. This time the ball is given off to Reese underneath the pass, and the foul is committed as Turner, Derek Turner, tried to put it up and in. No basket. The foul is on Wade. Now this changed. Wade raised his hand in acknowledgement of the foul, and they say no, it was on Banks. So far tonight, Turner, the shooter, has made one of two free throws. He does not have a field goal. Turner on the year, as I said, is a 50 percenter. Six feet, seven, 218 pounds. Best game he ever had, 11 points. A good leaper. Free throw, no good. He's missed two out of three. Boy, free throwing can kill you. Either way. The next free throw, that's good. And the score, eight to four. High scoring teams, UNLV averages 93 a game. The Academy averages 87 a game. Way past, deflected, knocked out of bounds. A good play defensively by Turner in the heart of the zone. Baznight takes it out. Baznight from Bourbon Day, Detroit, Michigan. 6'8", 190, a junior. Pass way out on the floor to Wade. Wade brings it over to Hattio. Cross court pass to Banks. He makes the three point. He gets to Wade. Bounce down the middle. In deep. Gilliam put it up. Block. What do we got called? A jump ball? Let's see. Jump ball is the call. Right on top of the ball was the great David Robinson. Woodbridge, Virginia. Went to Osborne Park High School. Played only one year of high school ball. Watch this block right on top of the Aga. Wow, that is defense at its best, folks. At its very best. Ball out to UNLV on the jump ball call. Wow, what a play that was defensively. He broke a hand and didn't play much his freshman year at the United States Naval Academy. Now the ball to Baznight. The Wade over to Banks. That's a three-pointer. No good. The rebound is off. Three ball. Fumble. And now the ball is taken by Wojcik. Wojcik's first name is Doug. He's into the front court. Doug comes out of Wheeling, West Virginia. Pass down the middle. Broken up. Ball bounces over to the Navy's man. And the man that got the ball is leader. And he's fouled over the leg. Ball will come out of bounds. And that's Gerald Patio. P-A-D-D-I-O. Four fouls on UNLV. Two team fouls on the Navy. The inbound pass. And it comes into Robinson. Down the middle. In the air. Throws up the bank and missed it. He missed two shots into the basket. A 64% shooter. The rebound to Patio. Patio to Wade. Baseball to front court to Bank. Give it around the Put her no good, but he was fouled. The foul is on number 40, Carl Liebert. Liebert gets his first foul of the ball game. The third team foul. A huddle at the free throw line. And then we'll have Banks shooting free throw. Banks is their second best scorer, averaging 19 a game. Armand Gilliam averages 24. Patio averages 6 
16. It was a nice fake by Banks along the base. He beat his man, then coming over to help out the weak side forward, Liebert, and he fouled him. Freddie Banks on the year has made 28 of 34. That's a magnificent 82%. He gets the rub of the green on the roll, and the score nine to four. UNLV has been in charge all the way. After the free throw, gave a temporary lead at the start to the Navy. Banks is from Valley High, right here in Las Vegas, Nevada. A lot of people think he'll be drafted by NBA clubs early. Second free throw, good, ten to four. Timeout is called. Score UNLV ten. The United States Naval Academy 4. Back in a minute. The restaurant the whole world is talking about is Piero's. Sportsbook at the Las Vegas Club now offers instant payouts 24 hours a day. That's right, 24 hours a day. No waiting, no having to come back the next day. As soon as your favorite sporting event has been completed, your winning ticket can be paid. And don't forget, the Sportsbook at the Las Vegas Club has all the latest odds on all major sporting events every day, plus updated odds on the Major League Tennis races and World Series, plus Super Bowl 21. The Las Vegas Club Sportsbook, free hot and main downtown casino center. Plenty of free validated parking. I'm Mordechai from the jeweler, challenging every jeweler in Las Vegas to match the quality, the price, and the service we offer the jewelers. Men's Seiko Sports 100, retail 225, now 99.99. Ladies Diamond Ring, one carat total weight, retail $1,500, now 599.99. If you find a lower price anywhere for the same quality merchandise, I'll refund double the difference to you in cash. The jewelers, the best in holiday gift giving, highest quality, guaranteed lowest prices. The fabulous Bally's Grand in the heart of the Las Vegas Strip offers the best in entertainment with two main showrooms. The Ziegfeld Theater features Don Arden's super spectacular Jubilee. It's a kaleidoscope of colorful costumes and incredible production numbers, including the sinking of the Titanic. And appearing right next door in the celebrity room is Wayne Newton. The best in entertainment is yours at Bally's Grand. Welcome to the historical Boulder Dam Hotel. Since 1933, it's been offering quiet luxury to Southern Nevadans and dignitaries from around the world. And today you'll find the same nostalgic charm, a fantastic place to get away with cozy rooms from just $25. And experience our equally enchanting gourmet dining room, featuring some creations found nowhere else. The historical Boulder Dam Hotel, nostalgic luxury from just $25 a night. For reservations, call 293-1808. UNLV 10 to 4. UNLV has made three of eight field goal attempts, 38%. The Navy has not made a shot. They have shot eight times and haven't made a basket. They're still only down by six points after four minutes and eight seconds of competition. Ball out of bounds, base by the Navy. Full court pressure by the white clad rebels of Jerry Tarkanian. The inbound pass in the simulcast comes to Robinson. Robinson, 7 feet 1, and 235 pounds, gives to Wojcik, the all-time leading assist man at the academy. Wojcik holds it up, lobs a high pass, dangerous pass. Robinson got it, feeds in traffic, it's intercepted. Robinson, the turnover, Baz Knight, the steal. He goes Wade the other way, bounce over to Banks. That's a three-pointer short. Rebound is off the bottom of the board, didn't hit the iron, and comes into the hands of Derek Turner, the Burke, Virginia athlete. Now Wojcik again. Navy having trouble getting out of the slip tonight. Now the ball to the free throw line. Given off to Turner. Triple drive in deep. Their first field goal is good and he's fouled. Nice drive. Nice goal to the hoop, as they say. Just a sophomore. The foul is on Baz Knight. It's a 10 to 6 ball game. That was a good move to the basket. Very good. Coming over to help out. Number 20, 44, Baz Knight got in trouble. So. Free throwing tonight, two out of four. Turner at the line for his fifth shot from that strike, which is 50 feet away from the backboard, 19 feet from out of bounds. The free throw is good, and it's 10 to 7. UNLV by three. Wade coming the other way. Banks has missed two outside three-point shots. Tadio missed one for UNLV. 
Now the ball away. Bounce in low. Gilliam's got a pump fake. Turn. Eight foot jumper. Beautiful. He's very good at a low post position. The inbound pass to Wojcik. For Gilliam, that's five. He had 35, his career high, in the game here Saturday night. Now the ball in the front court. Take him to Turner. Turner holds it up. Still holding. Looks for Wojcik and gives it to him. He was the MVP in the Colonial Athletic Association last year, and I'll tell you how he got it in a moment. Here's the ball given off to Turner. Turner cross court, and he got a foul call. And the foul is called on number 40, Carl Liebert, his second. Illegal pick. 12 to 7 is the score. UNLV leading it. Last year, the most valuable player voted in the Colonial Athletic Association was David Robinson, the big center. He said, hey, the other guy's our leader. He made us go. And he said, I want to donate it and give it deservedly to Doug Wojcik. And he did. All right, the ball over the corner of the baseline. Do Banks underneath to Gilliam. He's got it in deep. He puts it up and it's rejected, but a foul is called. Oh, wow. No doubt about the ball being hit flush with the left hand of David Robinson. But the referee, Al Hackney, says that he pushed him in the back with the right hand. Maybe we can see it. Maybe we can't. It'll take a tough angle. It's in heavy traffic. Watch him bite it away. He's got hold of him there. He fouled him before the shot was even attempted. That's what he did. He fouled him before the shot. But they ruled it as a two-shot foul. And there's no block credit. Gilliam's free throw is good. Gilliam as a free thrower is 70 and a half percent. Not good, not bad. You like your free throwers to be at least 75 percent if you can. It's tough though. He averages 10 rebounds a game to go with his 24 points. He makes both free throws. He's got seven of the UNLV's 14. They lead at football score 14 to 7. The inbound pass to Turner. Turner loses the ball, gets it back. Double team, knocked loose, stolen by Baznight. The Banks, the Baznight, slam dunk. Foul. So UNLV's pressure game taking its toll on the Navy as it has 10 previous opponents. That's why they're rated number one in the land, and here's a timeout. Biggest lead of the ball game, UNLV 16, the Navy 7. Back in a minute. Book them at the Circus Circus Race and Sports Book, the newest action in town. Enjoy the latest state-of-the-art electronic wall boards and computerized wagering system. Watch giant screen TV, live televised horse racing from all major tracks. Winning tickets cash 24 hours a day. Catch your favorite games on 21 TV monitors. Circus Circus Race and Sports Book open 8.30 a.m. every day. Park free in the adjoining Skyrise Garage, third level. The Skyrise Circus Circus Race and Sports Book, midway on the Las Vegas Strip. Ah, draft beer. It's always been the smoothest, freshest beer around. Poured straight from the tap. And now, there's a true draft beer in a bottle. Miller Genuine Draft. It's not heat pasteurized like most bottled beers. It's cold filtered for real draft smoothness. Ask for Miller Genuine Draft. The Miller with the black label. It's beer at its best. Now, on Royal West Airlines, you can fly to Burbank, LAX, or Ontario for only $29. No advance purchase necessary, but seats may be limited, so call now, 798-6444. Royal West, non-stop to Burbank, LAX, or Ontario for only $29. Just call Royal West, 798-6444. The fabulous Valley's Grand in the heart of the Las Vegas Strip offers the best in entertainment with two main showrooms. The Ziegfeld Theater features Don Arden's super spectacular Jubilee. It's a kaleidoscope of colorful costumes and incredible production numbers, including the sinking of the Titanic. And appearing right next door in the celebrity room is Wayne Newton. The best in entertainment is yours at Valley's Grand. The 1987 body. Join the Las 
Vegas Athletic Clubs at any of our three locations for $19.87. The score was 10 to 7 UNLV, but in the last 35 seconds, they've outscored the Navy 6 to nothing. And one of them was a drive into the hoop and the Baz Knight slam dunk. He's fouled in there by Turner and is now 16 to 7. Believe it or not, the Navy, a 53% shooting team in the year has made only one of nine shots. UNLV has made five of 11. The only basket is by Turner. Six nothing in the last 35 seconds, and here is Baz Knight. Baz Knight, on the year, is their fourth best scorer, averaging eight points a game. The free throw is good. He's a good free thrower. That's 22 out of 26 this year. And it's 17 to seven, biggest lead of the ball game. 17 to seven, 14, 25 to play, double team crap. They get the ball now to Wolter. Wolter up in the front court, gets it from Liebert. Now back to uh, Turner, and the Navy being badly bothered by this uh, armada of white clad guys. They're coming from UNLV. There's a jump shot, forced up by Liebert, not close, didn't hit anything. Rebound the bank, length the court, the patio score. They're running rebels, living up to their name. 19 to seven. We've got 14 minutes left to play in the first half. And here's Wojcik with the ball in the front court. Only one field goal. Lob underneath Robinson. He ought to get one here. Puts it up and he's fouled. So he can't get it. The foul is on Baz Knight. And over in the far side, Park says, that's good. That's good. Get, send him to the free throw line. He's a bad free thrower at 62%. His mom and dad are here tonight, by the way. And all you hear in Las Vegas and all you read in Las Vegas is what a nice human being David Robinson is. Coming into the ball game, the starting center, Richard Robinson for UNLV. Baz Knight goes out. Baz Knight got his second foul. Robinson has two. So Tart may have to go in a moment to David Willard, a 6'11 sophomore. Robinson's free throw looks good, is good. Robinson gets his third point of the game. Along the sideline, Pete Herman in his first year after assisting Paul Evans the last six years at the midshipman job. One more, Robinson averaging 30 points a game, does not have a field goal yet. Both free throws are good. He has made four out of four from okay. That's not bad for 62%, is it? Banks has got the ball. 19 to 9 is the score. UNLV. Now it's Graham in the ball game. Graham, Gary from Baltimore, Maryland, Dunbar program. Graham's got the ball. Looks inside. And he got called. Got a foul on Gilliam. A play away from the ball. Pushing. Gilliam was pushing Robinson. He and Robinson were playing in the World Team Games this summer. Won by the United States. They beat Russia in the finals. One in. All right, the seventh foul against UNLV will send Robinson to the line. He's shooting his fifth free throw. He's made his first four. Jerry Tarkanian, he's always worried. The free throw good, and it's 19 to 10. Coming into this game, Robinson made only 41 to 66. That was his sixth point, or this will be. If he makes this, it's the most point ever scored by anyone at the academy. That's it. He's got it. He breaks Vernon Butler's mark. That is it. Six points for him, and he is the all-time scoring leader for the United States Naval Academy. Congratulations to David Robinson. No field goal, but six free throws. 19 to 11. Graham shoots a two-pointer. It's no good off the look of the rim. It bounces off the hand of Robinson and is taken by the other Robinson, and that guy is Richard. Out of front, Banks gives the ball to Graham. Gary Graham. Graham down the middle. Bounce in low. Good pass, but fumbled away and out of bounds by Robinson. That's a sure basket. Graham now throws his hands at the ceiling, looks at Tark and said, hey, Tark, I gave him a good pass. And that's kind of showing your team made up, I think. Anyway, you don't think that Richard Robinson wanted to drop it out of bounds, do you? All right, coming in the ball, Wojcik. Doug Wojcik, left court. Doug coming in with that left-handed dribble. He's guarded by Graham. Out in front at the three-point line, the ball is to Turner. In low, underneath, throw it up and in. A great move. The foul is the third of the game on Robinson. And the other Robinson, David, gets his first field goal. Boy, was that a nice spin move. Turning to his left and shoveling it up and in. So three fouls on Richard Robertson. So he'll have trouble staying in this ball game now. That's a heck of a move. And that's his eighth point. And there's his ninth free throwing. He has now made six, seven in a row. Out of the ball game goes Richard Robinson and back in comes Baz Knight with two fouls himself. 19 to 14. UNLV lead the pass almost intercepted. 
out of bounds. Nice play by Cliff Reese of Elliott City, Maryland. This is an all-stater at Mount Hebron High School. Running the ball, Fred Banks. Bounce it over to Gary Graham. Graham standing on the court at 6'4", 185. Banks, a little tap pass over to Patio MD. Puts it up, is blocked from behind. A great block shot in there this time. And down the floor we come. Bounce pass underneath and fumbling away a sure basket is Reese. The ball given to Robinson. His shot is blocked beautifully by Gilliam. Down the middle, Banks underneath the patio score. A four-point switch. 21 to 14 is the score. Into the ballgame, Byron Hopkins from Chicago's Corliss High School, 6'9", 180, a freshman, number 33 in the navy blue. Pass underneath, Robinson slam, dunks it, a perfect pass by Wojcik, a perfect rim-high pass. That rim is 10 feet from the wood. Now it's 21 to 16, only a five-point rebel lead. He did lead, remember, at 19 to 9. Here's a dribble drive by Banks, brings it out of front to Graham, Graham over to Patio. Free throw line to Gilliam. His 15-footer on the way, no, the rebound is off and is grabbed in there by the youngster Hopkins. Hopkins gives it off to Wojcik. Wojcik just made a sensational pass, and there's another one, and he throws the ball this time to Turner, who scores. Bad breakdown by the Rebels' defense, and Tarkanian wants to talk to his team about that. 21-18 UNLV. 11.39 to play in the half. Back in a minute. Does this look good to you? Well, wait until you try it at Freddie G's Fish, Steak, and Chops. Located on Convention Center Drive across from the Landmark Hotel. Formerly Villa DS. Christmas isn't over yet. Ford Motor Company has a special package waiting for you. The Tempo with a premium sound system and air conditioning at no extra charge. The Escort with automatic transmission, power steering, and 3.9 financing. Drive them away before January 1st, and there's a way to save even more. Your Las Vegas Ford dealer has a package waiting for you. Come in now and open it up. I'm Grady Sanders, president of Western Vault, one of the largest private vaults in the United States. Where else can you buy peace of mind for 40 cents a day? At Western Vault Company, we offer a wide selection of safe deposit boxes and vaults designed in the most secure environment available today. Best of all, our clients enjoy the privacy and anonymity they're looking for when protecting their valuables. The Western Vault Company. In Las Vegas, call 796-0933. and sportsbook only at caesar's palace if your car is feeling overweight sluggish listless it could be the unleaded regular gasoline you're using that's because ordinary regulars are only 87 octane but now four cars are discovering the higher octane unleaded regular 76 unleaded it's 89 octane. Two octane better than ordinary unleaded regulars. To keep your car fit. And fit is better than fat. The speed of 76. KPDU, TV5, Henderson, Las Vegas. With 14 minutes left in the half, UNLV led 19 to 7. But now, in the next two minutes and 21 seconds, it's 11 to 2, the Navy, and the Navy's right back in the hunt. Some exciting plays already in this ball game between the number one club in the nation, UNLV, and the number nine ranked United States Naval Academy. They're in their zone defense. Number 50 is the big man. Everybody in the country watching him, particularly the NBA team. Here's a dribble drive, and the pass cross quarter by Graham over to Banks. He brings it back the other way to Patio. Patio out in front of Graham. One down dribble, pass on the He's collected by Robinson. Flies to Patio. Out to Graham. Standing on the three-point line. Shot no good. Beautiful rebound by the freshman. Byron Hopkins. Boy, does he look good. He's got long, long arms, and he uses them well. Now in the front court, Wojcik bounces the ball to Robinson. In deep he comes. Shows up a right hander. No good. He changed hands with the ball. The rebound is off and a foul is on David Robinson. David Robinson put Patio on the floor. That's his second foul. Is that his third? 
That is his third. Oh, that's too bad. That's too bad. Everybody in the country, including you and me, want to see him play the whole game. See how he looks against this number one ranked club. Well, they'll have to take him out, that's for sure. And when you take him out, you take 30 points off of a team that's averaging 87. One third of their points coming in is number 40, Carl Liebert. He was a starting forward. So now the biggest man that they have out there is Byron Hopkins, the freshman from Chicago, Corliss High. 6'9", 180, number 33. Well, that's a tough break for Pete Herman. UCLA beat Fullerton, 72-71 to tonight. 72-71, wow. The free throw is no good, the rebound is off and it's taken by Wojcik. Wojcik in the front court against Gary Graham. Graham falls backwards and the ball at the baseline. Now in low to the freshman, he puts it up. And that freshman is Hopkins, it's no good. It was a frozen rope and the rebound is to Gilliam. Gilliam averages 10 boards a game. Way to the baseline. Daniel's 20-footer, good. 23 to 18. Without David Robinson, this is like a ship without a rudder. 23 to 18. Well, let's see how they handle it. Maybe bounces the ball out of front. Number 44 handles it out there, and that's for Breeze to guard. Breeze brings the ball over to Wojcik, the playmaker. Wojcik looks, fakes, dribble drive down the middle. Nice pump fake. Goes up and calls footer. It's on the way and good. He got the bounce. It took an overspin and went in. 23 20. UNLV is ahead. Wade has it. Takes it over to Gary Graham. Graham holds it. Cross goes it. The patio looks like the plays with the Boston Celtics shoe. Now over the left side to Gary Graham. Corner the key to Baznight. Baznight dribble drive. Brings it back over to patio. Patio in low to Baznight. Left hand jumper no good, but he was fouled. And the foul is going to be on Derek Turner, number 24. That's his second. Turner might be slightly shaken up in this play. The trainer, Red Romo, comes over. Might have caught an elbow in the pit of the tummy there when the turn by Baznight. He's okay. One of the greatest players in the history of basketball, Elgin Baylor, is here tonight. Jerry West was here on Saturday night. Everybody's scouting David Robinson. Hopeful that in May, the Secretary of the Navy will say, yes, you can play pro basketball, and then you'd have to do some intelligence work or supply or engineering, PR or recruiting. He cannot be in the service so far as going on a ship is concerned or in a jet airplane. He's too big at 7-1. The free throw, no good. UNLV is six out of nine. The next one is no good. Six out of ten, 60 percent. Won't buy it. The visitors, Navy, eight out of ten, 80 percent. Roger takes it up in the front court to Reese. Now you got to wonder where they're going to get some points from. Here's a pass underneath, deflected, stolen by Junior Gilliam. Now the pass down the floor to Wade. Wade front court lays it over the left side. Here comes Baz and I put it up no, and it's a foul. And the foul is a third of the ball game on the Turner. So two of the starters have three fouls. Baz Knight was really going to the hole. UCLA, 72, Fullerton, 71. That was at Pauley Pavilion on the campus of UCLA. George McGuire losing his tough one down there tonight. Walter Hazard in charge of the Bruins. Baz Knight misses the free throw. He made his first free throw that he tried. He's missed three in a row now. He looks for his fourth point of the ball. Game. The free throw is good. And it's 24 to 20. Substitute coming in. And into the ball game now, a kid that didn't play on Saturday night from Temple Hill, Maryland, Bobby Jones, 6'2", 170, a 19-year-old sophomore. Bobby Jones in. Number 23. Inbound pass is to Cliff Reese. Here's the ball batted away by Wade. And bounces back to Bobby Jones, fortunately for the Navy. Rosie has the ball. He double team in track. He gives the ball to Bobby Jones. Jones in the corner to Lieber. Out of country, Reese, three-point country. His pass deflected, but going to get him to the 10-second line is Wojcik. He shows it to the baseline, and his pass, the man that threw it is Hopkins. It's intercepted by Gilliam to Wade, and Wade to Baznay. Baznay to Wade. Wade down the middle and bounce over to Patio. 20-footer, no good. Rebound is off. Battle for. Gilliam wants it. Gilliam's got it. They knock it loose. They steal it. The guy that stole it was Wojcik. Wojcik, number 10, has it. Wojcik in deep. He doesn't look for his shot very much. Now inside playing the post is Hopkins. The ball out of front to Lieber. 
Over here at the baseline to Jones. Left hand, 20 footer too long. Rebound Lieber. Lieber at the base. Pump foot. Goes left. Could be charged. Could be blocked. It is a blocking foul on Gilliam. Lieber made a darn good rebound play. Gilliam got the foul. His second. Maybe they called that on Bass Night. I think they did now. That looked like charge there, didn't it? The foul was on Baz Knight before he jumped in to Gilliam. So, both teams out of fouls. The free throw will be Liebert. Liebert is scoreless in the ballgame. He's tried three field goals, missed them all. Into the contest for the Navy's number four, Neil Fenton, Latrobe, Pennsylvania High School. Six feet, 160. He wears jersey number four. The free throw is Liebert. He has to have a bounce. Liebert is their third best scorer on the year, averaging 13 points a game. Liebert is a 63% free throw. Both free throws miss, and the rebound is off, and is taken by a new man in the lineup, David Willard, number 40 in white for UNLV. Willard is a sophomore, 20 years old. Pass down the middle, right through Willard's hands, and out of bounds. Willard reached up and deflected the one off Gilliam's hands. I'm sure the pass was intended for Willard. All right, waiting for the pass to come in. The pressure is causing the Navy a lot of trouble. Dribbling the ball against Eldridge Hudson now, number 33. Cross court pass comes over here to 44. Cliff Rees in the Simon Cat. Rees gets the ball to number four, and that's Neil Kevin, six feet. Benton bounces the ball to the baseline to Jones. Bobby Jones. Bobby Jones against Gilliam. Giving him much bigger. Bad pass, intercepted. And there goes Banks. Maybe slam dunk. Nope, made it up. Not putting the baby to bed. 26-20, the turnover by Bobby Jones. And the ball is brought into Reese. He gives the ball back to Jones. And Jones says, what the heck are you two guys in white doing here? The pass is deflected and is taken by Lieber. Back to Bobby Jones. Three on two now, but he didn't press it. Pass is given off this time to Fenton, even though it was touched by a Rebel. The Rebels are tough defensively. Down the middle, a bounce pass to the baseline to Bobby Jones. His pass knocked away and out of bounds. That may be a foul. That is going to be a foul. Nope, they're just giving it out of bounds. There's no foul call. I thought sure they'd call a foul on Banks. In football, it was a clip that he threw on the legs of a Navy man. Watch Banks now. Come into the back of the guy's leg. Right there. That's a foul. You can read that with Braille. The inbound pass comes off to Reese. And Reese's pass deflected. And at the baseline, knocked it in out of bounds. And it's out of bounds to the midshipman. 7.55 to play in the half, 26-20, UNLV leads. UNLV on the year averages 93 points a game, remember. So it's a low-scoring half, isn't it, so far? All right, the Navy coach, Pete Herman, over there with his assistant. Pete's first year as the head coach with this club. Inbound pass is bad, thrown away to Wade. Wade in the front court, Wade all the way. Wade puts it up, spins it in. Nice play. He was sandwiched in between two defenders. 28 to 20 the score. So the Navy got back into it, but then they lost their big man, David Robinson, with three fouls. Tough break for them. The baseline, the ball is to Reese. One bounce to get in the air. Ten foot jumper in and out. No, the rebound is off. Three ball. Taken by Banks. Banks is passed, knocked down. Who's going to get it? Number 33, Byron Hopkins. And he blows the layup. Rebound to Banks. Banks to Wade. Wade four on two. It goes out of the bank. The first layup is beautiful. Time out. The Navy. So, UNLV hits another hot streak. That's the way they play. They play in spurts. And you got to shut off a couple of the spurts. 30 to 20. Back in a minute. We are extremely proud of our academic... When the Renan Rebels get their running game going, they are as efficient at it as anyone in the country. Now they've built up a 10-point lead by outscoring the Navy in this run, 9-2. to two. And their last fast break was one of the prettiest of the year for the Rebels under Jerry Tarkanian. Handling the ball, Wade, he does it so effectively. Good pass and cross court to Banks, reverse layup. The good pass was made by Eldridge Hudson, former player of the year in Los Angeles, and that's quite an honor. So, 30 to 20 now, and things have changed a lot without Dave Robinson. Ball is inbounded to Wojcik, he's double teamed and trapped. What's he gonna do with it? He picks up the dribble and throws the ball out of bounds. 
soon as he picked up the dribble, he was in great trouble. He is not a big man. 6'2", 182. But neither were the defenders that were on him very big. Banks, 6'3", and Wade, 6 feet. Four turnovers for Wojcik. Now Wade's got the ball. We've got seven minutes exactly left to play in the first half of our simulcast. I'm Chick Hearn from Las Vegas. The ball down the middle of Willard. Turn, 15-footer on the way. That's good. They about scored him 11-2 in this run. And they lead by 12. That's the second time they've led by 12. 19 to 7 was the previous. It's 32 to 20. And 6.43 left to play in the first half. Wojcik with the ball. Wojcik gives the ball to the other guard, and the other guard is Cliff Reese. Out of front to uh, Liebert. Liebert holds it up against Bullard. Liebert dribble around Wojcik. Bounce pass. Not loose, stolen by Gilliam. Another turnover, and Banks has got the ball. Banks front good. Banks, you can't make those mistakes against this club. The running Rebels have got too much firepower for you once you make the mistake. Now Eldridge Hudson with it, out in front to Banks. Banks with it, give, rather gets it from Wade, holds it up. Down the middle to Gilliam, he's in very deep. Missed the slam dunk, he was fouled. The basket would have counted. So, Gilliam will be the free throw. 32 to 20 is the score. The foul is on Reese. Very good position by the low post man, but he missed a rather easy shot. Only three players, get this, only three players have scored a point for the Navy. Wojcik has got two. Robinson has been in the bench for some time now, has 11. And Turner has seven. Only three players have scored. 33 to 20. Coach Pete Herman is almost forced to start Robinson in the second half. Almost forced to with three shots. Free throw over, the rebound by Willard over, the rebound is off, taken in there by Lieber. Lieber's fouled by L.D. Thompson. That's free throw time on the bonus situation. The Navy has made only five baskets, 25% of their 20 shots in the first half. UNLV is shooting at 50%. How to defy gravity? Well, first find a basketball hoop. Secondly, lace on a pair of Nike Air Forcers. Now, the Nike Air Forcer is the basketball shoe that was designed to rewrite the law of gravity. It has the superior cushioning power of Nike Air. So when you finally do break the law of gravity, you'll have a much nicer landing. The Nike Air Forcer breaks the laws of nature going up and down. First free throw earns in the bonus. Tipped up nicely, a good try in there by the freshman Hopkins. It wouldn't go down. Rebound to Liebert. He puts it up and banks it in. And he was butchered under there by Willard. Now it's 33 to 23. Coming with the ball in the front court is Wade. Wade looks at Gilliam posting up inside. Out in front it comes to Eldridge Hudson. And inside a foul. The foul is going to be called on Willard. Pushing on the offensive pattern. Free throw time. The Navy trying to hold on. Pete Herman is just till halftime so he can get Robinson back in the ball game. Well, you take Robinson out of the game. If you're driving an eight-cylinder car, now you're running on one. He is that much of a player. 12 rebounds a game, four blocks a game. Free throw is good to earn the bonus. 33-24. Also with three fouls is starting forward Eric Turner. Kid that's looked very good. Boy, he's got a future, I think. Byron Hopkins, number 33, out of uh, Corliss High in Chicago. Second free throw, no good. The rebound is off long, chasing over everybody, and Wade gets it through. Wade of UNLV. Wade closely guarded over there. Wade is a very quick kid. Good dribble with either hand. Good vision of the court. Down the middle of Willard. Turn the right hand. Hook loose. No tip from 10. Rebound hit by Gilliam. To Willard accidentally. And a foul. The foul is on Wojcik. Wojcik gets his first foul. Maybe they called it on Lieber. I thought it was Wojcik. Yes, it was Wojcik. Still only... Three men have scored for the Navy. For UNLV, six men have scored. Patio in, and Eldridge Hudson goes out. Patio's first name is Gerald, Rain, Louisiana. A transfer from Seminole, Oklahoma, JC. Last year with Seminole, 24 points and nine rebounds a game. Is high with the running Rebels, 26 points. The free throw, San Diego. Chula 
Vista High School product. David Willard, 6'11", 195, a sophomore. He redshirted in 85, 86, quite mobile. JC at Laredo, Texas, he averaged nine points and six boards. Five of Tartanian's top seven players are junior college transfers. I don't think that's ever been equaled or tied by any other school. Junior college transfers, five of his top seven. 35 to 24, Wilkins got the ball. He bounces the ball to Reese. Reese in the front court. The pressure of the defense of UNLV is treacherous. Down the middle comes Wojcik. Wojcik takes the ball over to the baseline and shooting it is Fenton. He didn't get it, but he was knocked down. Foul is called against the big man, David Willard. Fenton, the free thrower, has only shot three this year. He's made two of the three. He gets it away. That knockdown. 5-11 left to play here in the first half. And I don't think there's any chance that they'd bring Robinson back in the first half. Fast night coming in and Willard goes out. Hart trying to keep his three big men, Willard, Robinson and Baz Knight, all eligible, or at least a couple of them. George Pete Herman, he lost David Robinson with that third foul a long time ago. 35-26, both free throws were put in. Nice shooting by Navy's number four, and that's Neil Fenton from Lafayette, Pennsylvania. Here's Fred Banks with the ball. Fred Banks takes over in the corner of the baseline to Patio and back out three points to a fumbling Banks who retrieves. Now the ball away from the simulcast into Baz Knight, out to Banks. Three pointers. 38-26. On the year now, Banks has made 31 of 86 of those. Coming into this game, UNLV had made 76 of 177, 41%. 38-26, to 26, UNLV is in front. Now the ball to the baseline to Reese. There's 24 feet short touch. Barely took the win. The rebound is off a free ball. Everybody's after it. Bodies all over the place. And what is out of bounds, UNLV. Nice hustle over there by number 40, Carl Liebert in the um, navy blue. And, of course, the youngster Byron Hopkins. Here's Bobby Jones making his second appearance of the ball game. He looks like he's got a taller guy's pants. 38 to 26 is the score. And walking the ball into the front court now is playmaker Mark Wade. Six feet, 160. Ball over the three-point line through Patio and out to Banks. Another three-pointer. The rebound is off and it's taken by Bobby Jones. Jones to Wojcik. Wojcik comes to the attacking 47 feet of this 94 by 50. Hunter Wood. Contact, no harm, no foul, no blood, no ambulance. And no shot outside, no good by Wojcik. Three ball, dug out by Wade. Wade comes out of the back court with a flourish. Wade, little stutter step. What a pass! Underneath, score it! The man that made the basket is Patio. He yanked to his feet by teammate Baz Knight. Woo! 40 to 26. Great pass by Wade. Wojcik's got the ball. And Patio hurt his left arm. I don't know if it's the wrist or the elbow, but he's tearing it in a very unusual position. Here's a drive along the baseline and blocking on Patio. So he goes down at each end of the floor. He said, boy, it's getting rough out here as the referee. Terry Tackett along with the teammate Wade help him up. Patio has got his second foul. He's going to have some bruises tomorrow. The PC AA conference games get underway now for Tarkanian and the Rebels and going home to play five conference games from the Colonial Athletic Association in seven days is Pete Herman and the Navy Club. Gary Graham is in for UNLV. The free throw is good. 40 to 27. 12 of 18 free throws have been converted by the Navy. The free throw by Bobby Jones is good again. Bobby Jones, number 23. Now we get a substitute in for the United States Navy. He is number 30, and his name is Kerry Manhurst. He is a senior from Bronx, New York. 6'7", 197, played at St. Michael's Academy. UNLV leading at 40 to 12. 
They are undefeated this year. The one number one in the country. Here's a nice deal by Wojcik. He's on his way. Here comes Graham. Wojcik delays it and makes a nice shot. Graham would have blocked it if he'd have shot it on the initial reach. 40 to 30 is the score. I like the way Graham stayed after him with that ball and a good steal by Wojcik. 40 to 30. Wojcik is a senior. Pass down the middle comes to Gilliam. Turn, shoot, and put it good. Gilliam gets his 10th point. And it's 42 to 30. Wojcik, he's got to be a tired kid. They've been harassing him out there tonight. I'll tell you that. Graham's on him now, one-on-one. -on -one. Now a double team. They knock it loose. Lieber digs it out. What are you going to do with it? Have a jump ball? Not yet. Pretty soon. Lieber still got it. And we call it a five seconds. And it's just going down the floor. The, the running Rebels. The defense within six feet for five seconds. In fact, they were within six inches for ten minutes. 42 to 30. 245 left to play here. In the first... Wade's got the ball in the simulcast and calls a timeout. 2.41 to play in the half. The score, UNLV 42, the Navy 30. Now, I know a lot of you are wondering about the possibility of David Robinson coming into the NBA. So let me, while I got a chance here, slowly explain it. Plays one game to reach. Pass underneath the patio from Banks and a slam dunk. Basketball, of course, you play, if you play every game, about three times a week in the pro. Here's Wojcik in the front court. Pass down the middle to Lieber. Lieber passed up a 15-footer from the free throw line. Cross court pass over to Jones. Drive the base. In deep, and he put it. That's a nice climb over there. Here comes Baz Knight. Baz Knight in the fast break to the middle man, Wade. Wade to Baz Knight. Front once more to Wojcik. Without Dave Robinson, it's a totally different club. Ball in low to Manhurst, and he is fouled. The foul is on Patio. Patio receipts for his third foul. Patio looks so much like Derek Smith, the former University of Louisville All-American, now playing with Sacramento's Kings in the NBA, especially in profile. Into the ball game, Eldridge Hudson from Carson, California. Red-shirted in 83-84 after a serious knee surgery. Last year played in 38 games, average 6 points. The free thrower, number 30, Kerry Manhurst. He plays against Robinson in practice, and they say that he makes Robinson work very, very hard. Forty-five hundred enrollment at the United States Military Academy, including some lovely ladies. The Academy's on 329 acres of land. It was founded October 19, 18, 1845. Both free throws good, 46-32 UNLV leads. Hudson brings it out to bank. Bank building, Wade's out there now. Eldridge Hudson brings it to Graham. Graham shoots a two-pointer, no good, the long bounce. Gilliam gets another rebound. Gilliam in the ball game with six rebounds now. Out to Hudson. Hudson holds it up to three-point line. Over to the baseline to Graham. 37 seconds on the 45-second clock. 121 of the game clock. Gilliam tries to shoot, and Gilliam is fouled, and they're going to call the foul on Wojcik. Wojcik, number 10 on the double team, gets his second foul. to Pete Herman like to put Dave Robinson back in now, but he can't. Three fouls, you can't do that. Wouldn't be good judgment, and Pete Herman has nothing but good judgment. So, he'll start him, I'm um, quite sure, at the beginning of the second half, because he doesn't want to get too far behind. Doesn't get out of the ball game. Start him. See what they can try and score. For. But we only got a minute and 19 to play in the half. Gilliam misses the free throw. Gilliam in the ball game has missed three free throws. And he has made four. He looks for his 11th point. Gets it. And it's 46 to 32. The ball will be out of bounds against full court pressure again. And the Navy kids must be saying, why don't you guys get back and play a zone? The inbound pass comes to Wojcik. Wojcik dribble to the front court. Wojcik going to the southern goal our left. We're at midcourt. Now on the simulcast, Wojcik holds it up and gives him to Reese. Reese out to Wojcik, a three-point area. Wojcik won't shoot it from out there unless he is forced to by the expiration of the 45-second clock. 30 seconds left on that. The ball over to Liebert. Liebert holds it, brings it out once more to Wojcik. That's Wojcik to Reese, the other guy. Reese gives it to Wojcik. Wojcik with 19 in the 45. Over to Liebert. Liebert to the dribble. Brings it out in front once more to Wojcik with 12 in the 45. In low, the pass is off to Manhurst. Shot no good. Rebound by the freshman, 
Hopkins, Byron Hopkins. And it's 47 to 34. That's his first basket, his third shot of the game. Banks gives the ball to Graham. We've got 30 seconds left, and they're going to run the clock out. Out to the 10-second line, Banks puts it under his arm and says, you guys want to come out of your zone and get us? They're down by 13 points, and no, they don't want to come out of the zone and get us. Now, Pete Herman, the coach of the Navy, says, stay right back where you are, guys. Stay right back where you are. They want to hold it until the half's over. That's all right with us. All right, Graham's got 10 seconds left in the half. The ball goes over to Hudson. Back to Graham. Six seconds. Down the middle. Gilliam's in deep. Too deep. And he makes the eight-foot turnaround. 13 for him. And the half is over. The UNLV light beer tournament. At halftime, UNLV 49 the United States Naval Academy playing much of the half without their great All-American, David Robinson. 34. We'll be back, Marines. Boy, you've got yourself a basketball club. Well, we really do have. The kids are playing very hard. Of course, Jerry and the staff do a great job working with them, and we'll lose some time, perhaps. I'll tell you, it'll take a great team to beat us playing hard because our kids are really playing with tremendous intensity. I've never seen a team, really. I've never seen a college team play harder and tougher defense. We really are getting after people, and we thought if we were to beat the Navy, we were going to have to be able to force some turnovers, and I don't know how many Navy had in the first half, but they turned it over quite a bit, and we're going to have to continue to play with that intensity the second half. And of course, it's going to be great when David Robinson returns, because a lot of the people that are here came to see him. Oh, there's no doubt about it. He's a great talent. All the pro scouts tell you that right. he's the finest player in the country, and I think he is. It's unfortunate for Navy to get three early fouls, but you know, we, we were going to take it right to him. We decided we'd stick it inside to Armin and, and see if we couldn't get him in foul trouble, and we were able to do it, and that's part of the ball game. I don't know if you know it yet or not, Brad, but we got a new record again tonight. Two nights ago, 19,320. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, 20,000. 321. That's almost 40,000 for two games. Yeah, it's been a great, uh, obviously, as you know, the community is alive with enthusiasm, and we could have sold four or 5,000 more. We, we shut off sales this afternoon about 5 o'clock, and we had lots of people who still wanted to come to the ball game. so it's a great feeling, and uh, it's good, great to be number one. Keep going. Good to see you, Jay. Thank you. Back in a minute. Half of the first half. It's a terrible shame that he couldn't have played the whole half. I'd like to see the two teams go at it with full complement of players. Robinson made only two of his eight shots in the first half. Their club made only eight of 27. That's 30 percent. The running Rebels made 18 of 34, 53 percent. In the rebound department, it was um, 20 to 19 in favor of the running Rebels. They had 14 assists. The Navy had only three. But you only make eight field goals. You're not going to have many assists. There were 10 steals by UNLV with that devastating pressure of the defense, and the Navy had three steals. UNLV's run, running Rebels in the huddle. Robinson left at the 11.08 mark officially, so he missed, uh, oh, about eight minutes and 52 seconds of play. But I think he'll come out and turn it on pretty well here in the second half. A lot of the scouts that came for thousands of miles from all over the country disappointed because they didn't get to see enough of him to really make a an impression that I'm sure that most of them have seen him and will see him many more times. Pete Herman, their coach, looking on. He's going against Jerry Tarkanian tonight. Gilliam, 13 points. Freddie Banks, 11 points. Patio, 10 points. For the Navy, 11 points. And the 11 points were put in by Robinson. 20,321. It's an all-time record. Building, according to the details, seats 18-5. Well, you figure it out. Must be about 2,500 standing, huh? Here's the ball going over to Turner. Turner with three fouls. He looks into Robinson. Instead, he comes out to uh, Reese. Reese cross goes it over to Wojcik in the corner. Now into Robinson. He's got it turning. He does and makes a 15-footer and there's a foul. Boy, is that a beautiful shot, and he's fouled by Baznight. And for Baznight, that is his fourth in our unofficial stats. That's right. It's on Baznight. Boy, that didn't take long, and what a beautiful shot it was. Calm, cool, and collected. Seven feet and one inches. He just hung in the air till the defender came down. The free throw by Robert. He gets three points here in the first 16 seconds. He's got an awful lot of talent. 
into the ball game. Robinson out of the ball game. Baznight. Hart's got three big men that he can throw at Robinson. Robinson's the only real true center that they have. The Navy, that is. Wade in the simulcast gives the ball to Freddie Banks. 14 points now in the ball game for Robinson. He averages 30. Here's Banks down the middle in the air at the free throw line. Put his foot on the rebound. is grabbed and pulled out of the night here in Las Vegas by Robinson. Robinson to Wojcik. Wojcik can run start to Reese. Reese at the base. 15 footer on the way. And here comes the Navy. It's 49 to 39. They make five quick points. Five to nothing here in the first minute of the second half. Wade's got the ball. And you better not come out soft against this Navy club. Patio with it. Cross court out in three-point country to Banks. Banks is guarded by Reese. Now the ball to Wade in the simulcast. And in low it goes to Robinson. He turns and shoots over. And scores over Turner. They, at least that time down, took David Robinson off of the other center. And now it's 51 to 39. The Navy is behind. They have trailed it all night. With the ball in the attacking zone, we've got Wojcik. Doug looks for somebody to give through. Boxes to his other guard, Reese. Down the middle of Robin's turn. Shoots. Ten footer goes in and spins out. Heartbreak. The rebound to Gilliam. Gilliam to Banks. Wade, that is. And Wade over to Patty and he hits a 20 footer, a two pointer. 53 to 39. Wojcik coming the other way. Driving. Northern goal to our right. Wojcik is against Wade. Now out of the ball to Reese. Lobs it out of bounds. Trying to get a pass to Robinson. They got to be a little more patient, perhaps. There aren't any 14-point plays in basketball. We've got a minute, 45 seconds off the clock here in the second half. Wade with the ball. Wade cross court, deep patio, knocks the win out of bounds. Good defensive play by Carl Liebert, number 40. Taking a baseline will be the UNLV's Robinson, Richard. Stay with me. Referee Terry Tackett gives him the ball and comes clear out to the 10-second line to Wade. Wade tells Patio to go on to the other side of the floor and he gets the ball to Banks. Dribble drive in deep. 12 foot cover. Nice shot. Banks now with 13 points in the ball game. Banks' season average is 19. It's 55-39. And we've got Wojcik. Wojcik comes to the right side. In playing the post is Robinson. He gets the bounce pass. He's down the middle. All the way Spin it up and in. He is so graceful, he fools you. 55-41, long pass the other way to Banks. Banks comes in deep. I think that Tark would give uh, Robinson his 30 and just shut out the rest of the guys with four the victory. Banks cross guard pass to Patio. Patio is a good 19 foot right hand, two in a row is made. The kid from Rain, Louisiana. J.C. All-American when he played at Seminole, Oklahoma. J.C., 57 to 41. And with it, Wojcik. Wojcik in the front door. Patio's got 14 points. Pass to Robinson. He's the Everybody slammed up. Gilliam overplayed on him that time and got burned. And it's 57 to 43. Three minutes gone in the second half. 17 to go. And she turned. And on the simulcast, we're at the, the Thomas and Mack Center in Las Vegas. At the three-point line, the ball is to Richard Robinson. Wade. Wade gives the ball to Patio. He's hit two in a row. That's a three-pointer of a goal. A good shot selection. The rebound is off. Taken by Robinson to midcourt to Liebert. Liebert coming in on range. Liebert the big over two. Comes all the way in and scores it. Nice play. Very nice play. They got it down to 12 in the deficit column. 57 to 45. 16 minutes and 30 seconds to play. A crowd of 20,321. The new attendance mark starting to yell again now. Wade's got the ball. Wade into Gilliam. Gilliam posting up. He turns, shoots a 10 foot jumper, and he got him four bounces, and it fell in. That's what you call the rub of the green. That's what you call UNLV rim. 59 to 45. Gilliam will take it. And with it, Gilliam's got 15. Gilliam averages 24 a game. Now, Wojcik. Bounce in low to Robinson. Robinson out to the corner to Keaton Lieber. He's 16 footer on the way too long. Rebound inside. Knocked away. Three ball. Off the... All of this is just a phone call away. For season ticket information, call 739-3838. I'm Mordechai from the jeweler, challenging every jeweler in Las Vegas to match the quality, the price, and the service we offer the jewelers. Men's 14-karat gold ring with genuine 22-karat, two-pesos coin, $129.99. 50 diamonds heart pendant was $1,500, now $449.99. If you find a lower price anywhere for the same quality merchandise, I'll refund double the difference to you in cash. The jewelers, the best in holiday gift giving. Highest quality, guaranteed lowest prices. You guys were easy last year. Whoa, whoa, come on, admit it. You cheated. Cheated? I, 
That guy was a ringer. No. That guy was a monster. Besides, much good for your complexion. <laughs> hey, and don't forget, we let you share our beer. Remember? That draft beer was unbelievable. That it yeah, was. It sure was. Drinking Miller Genuine Draft will remind you of the best beer you've ever had. Because it's cold filtered for real draft smoothness. It's beer at its best. Who? There's money right. <laughs> Attention, before December 31st, Friendly Ford must clear the books on 673 new cars and trucks. Save with no payments till March 1987. Save with up to $1,000 Christmas cash back. Save with the tax advantages of buying in 86. Save with 3.9% financing. And save with volume discount pricing. So save now during the year-end liquidation sale at Friendly Ford. Come get the deal, you've been looking for at Friendly Ford. 59 to 45 on the capacity crowd, a new Thomas and Mack record, 20,331. I think officially it's 321, but let's not argue for 10, huh? Okay, here we go. Got a great crew, Dick Manugian, our producer, John Harker is our director, Dennis McGarvey, our statistician, Paul Pogat, helping us on the floor, ball in logo to Gilliam, back to Wade. Wade holds it up, brings it out to Robinson from the free throw line, missed another rebound, goes to the other Robinson, first name Dave. He's got seven points already here in the second half, 18 in the game, ball to the baseline, Reese is due and he hits the drive, 13 foot jumper, Reese and it's 59 to 47. Changing basket, exchanging with UNLV, won't get it done. The Navy's got to play some defense now and then get down and get the ball to Robinson. Now the ball to the other Robinson, which is Richard. Wade brings it over to Patio. Patio's 19-footer, beautiful. Oh, he's on a streak. He's made three out of four shots, all from outside. Here in the second half, he's got 16 points. On the season, Patio's the third best scorer, averaging. You got it, 16. Oji with it. Oji got a front to Reese. Lob under to Robinson. Slam dunk, a brilliant play. That pass wasn't perfect, but Robinson straightened it out for a straight A. 61 to 49. And Robinson now in the ball game with 20 points. Nine here in the second half. Already five and a half minutes gone. Pass in low to Gilliam. He turns, he shoots. Eight footer is good. Right in the face of Dave Robinson. Seven feet one. At 17 points for Gideon. They were teammates, remember, in the summer games this year, won by the United States. Out of the backcourt, we've got Bogey to the high post, Turner. Turner the dribble on Gideon. Baseline pass, knocked down by Gideon, but Turner hustles to get it. Nice play. Now the ball to Robinson. Free throw line. He shoots and misses pass. Rebound is off and is taken by Banks. Left of the court, right, taken by Wade. Left of the court, two Banks. He scores, he's fouled. Fine outlet pass by Wade. A good streaking release after the shot by Banks. That's what you call having good all-court vision. And then he threw a Fernando Valenzuela strike. The intentional foul by Wojcik didn't even stop him. Two shots coming because of the intentional foul. 65-49. At 15 points. He hasn't missed a free throw yet tonight. He made one three-point shot. Banks' season average is 19. His free throwing is 82 and a half percent. 66-49. Good balance up front. Gilliam 17 points. Patio 16. And now in the backcourt. Banks has 16, looking for 17. Didn't get it, the rebound is off. Taken by Robinson. Now Wojcik has it. Pressure in the backcourt. The high coach Robinson. He crosses it over for a three-point shot by Reese. Not close. The rebound is off to Richard Robinson of UNLV. Richard gives the ball to Wade. His first name is Mark. San Pedro, California. Now. And for the Banks from Las Vegas. Three-pointer good. A 22-footer from the left side, 69 to 49. His second three-point shot of the game. He's got 19 points this season average. Now the ball to the leader. 69-49, the biggest lead of the game, 20 points. The defense is really all over them now. Pass in low to Robinson, broken up by the other Robinson, taken by Padillo. Patio. 
And he gives the ball to Wade, bounds underneath. Robinson put it up. And here comes Dave Robinson, a great block shot. Woo! What a save. And the ball is off to Wojcik. Wojcik around pass. Wojcik in deep. Stop. Takes it in low to Robinson. He's done anything. Banks it in. He takes a long first step. It would take most guys three steps to do what he does in one. 69 to 51. He's got 22 points. He's got 11 in the second half. He only played about eight and a half minutes in the first half. All right. Now the ball is given off to Wade. Wade to Robinson. Three-point line. Back to Wade. Wade gives it out to Patio. His three-point line. Gives him 19 points. 72 to 51, and I would think a timeout would be in order for a neighbor. And they call it. Might get a technical here. Look out. Wojcik yelled right in the face of Al Hackman, the referee. And Al let him get away with it. But he did warn him, and he's going down to the huddle now, and he's telling him, hey, don't yell at me, youngster. Don't yell at me. All right, 72 to 51, back in a minute. Get the Atlantic difference. 8% money market guaranteed for two months. Call 1-800-4-ATLANTIC or visit your nearest branch. Atlantic Financial. It's not Jamaica. It's not Tahiti. And it's certainly not Mazatlan. It's Las Vegas, man. Only at the Tropicana. Come play on the island. Approximately four years ago at UNLV, we set into operation a more comprehensive, innovative academic support program for our basketball players. We have provided the best. The work in caring bears fruit this year as the first group of young men involved are all on schedule to graduate. Our congratulations, love, and respect go to Gary, Mark, Leon, Armin, Eldridge, and Freddie. UNLV. The Showboat Race and Sports Book is Las Vegas' number one win place and showroom where sports action never stops. From football's opening kickoff through the Super Bowl, you'll catch it all. For the best in hoops, college or NBA, the Showboat is a slam dunk. Check the odds on all of the big fights or follow the ponies all year long at every major track. If it's happening in sports, you'll find it first at Las Vegas' number one win place and showroom. The Showboat Race and Sports Book. Draft beer. It's always been the smoothest, freshest beer around. Poured straight from the tap. And now, there's a true draft beer in a bottle. Miller Genuine Draft. It's not heat pasteurized like most bottled beers. It's cold filtered for real draft smoothness. Ask for Miller Genuine Draft. The Miller with the black label. It's beer at its best. Henderson, Las Vegas. Signs of every description here at the Thomas and Mack Center. With 12.31 left to play, they've already got UNLV as the defending champions next year. They say they're going to win it this year. Well, they're number one in the country. They lead it 72 to 51. And Cal Irvine lost to Iowa tonight, 105-103. In the second half, Patio of UNLV has made four out of five shots, including a three-pointer. And uh, David Robinson's made five out of six shots from the floor in the second half. 72 to 51, and here inside we've got the Bushman, Chevin, and what he's got to call. A foul, I think, on the Willard. Willard to foul, trying to play against Robinson. And uh, David Robinson usually has at least the makings of a smile on his face. Says to the referee, ref, they're trying to rough me up a little bit in there. Keep your eye on him, will you? The ref said, I certainly will. Arcanian at the other end, he said, well, it looks like number 11. Without a loss, 72 to 51. Underneath the basket, the ball is thrown away and a great defensive play by Willard. Stepping in front of Lieber, the intended. Man threw the ball was Reese. 12-10 left to play and Willard's got it out of front two ways. Wade over to Banks. Banks in the air, 17 foot number, no good to on his arm. Here comes Wojcik. He's one-on-one -on -one against Wade. He comes in deep. He tries to put up Wade Fowler.
two shots. 72, 51, 11, 57 to play. Navy has only one team foul. UNLV has three. Wojcik decided to go the distance. Wade said, I'm not going to let you make the basket. I'll foul you. And he did. Doug Wojcik, all-time assist leader. They say he is the glue of this club. High school, really West Virginia. Unselfish, good leadership. Best game he ever had was 18 points. Tonight, the Navy's made 19 of 25 free throws. 13 of 21 of them scored by the record. The free throws are both good. That's six points for Wojcik. And it's 72 to 53. Here's the ball to Freddie Banks and out in front of Wade and they swing the ball to Willard. 19 foot over the center and he hits it. How about that? David Willard with his heel on the three-point line. 74-53. Willard is six feet and 11 inches tall. Wojcik has it against Wade. a great assist player. Now the ball out to the free throw line. Turner goes to him underneath. Oh, he's knocked down hard. There's no call on the play. And the ball is taken by uh, Gideon. Gideon with the ball in the attacking zone. Gideon is out of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Now here's a three-pointer by Banks. Good again. He's made three tonight. His all-time record is six. And it's 77 to 53. Bounce pass, turn of the key to Turner, and he gives the ball to Liebert. Liebert, and they're denying the ball well to Robinson. I'll tell you that, they're really denying. Here's the ball, trying to shoot it, the foul is called. Wojcik. The foul apparently is on Willard, 6'11", who was on the double team. That's right, it's on Willard. Willard in the foul department now with four. The free thrower will be Wojcik. Boy, as he worked hard. Talk about a determined young man. 77-53. Last year, they surprised the basketball world. They lost to Duke after winning three games over Tulsa, Syracuse, and Cleveland State in the NCAA tournament. They lost to Duke in the Eastern Regional Finals, wound up with a record of 30 and 5. Both free throws are good with 77 to 55. Wade coming down the floor for UNLV. You might see a lot of the UNLV running Rebels reserves a little bit. Well, baseline the ball to Peele, give it in deep, puts it up. Blocked by Robinson. It looked like he pinned the ball. They don't call anything, and the ball given off to Wojcik. Wojcik down in the middle of the free throw line. Goes in the air, shoots a 15 footer, and makes it. A violent collision with Willard. Willard did the bopperoo, and they disdain looking at it. 77 57. Most good referees will do that. If the guy fakes the fall down, let him lie there, call nothing. 77-57, bounce pass, baseline to Banks, and deep, eight foot jumper, no. Rebound is off, Robinson had it. And it's going out of bounds to UNLV, and Robinson is complaining. He is not the captain, Wojcik is. Willard will take the ball out of bounds. Wade is way out on the floor. That's where the ball goes. Now Wade calling out an audible. The ball goes over to Patio and back to Wade. 20-point ball game. Gilliam's got a turn. And 12 footer good. He's awfully good at that shot. He could be a good low post up pro. That's 19 points for him. Against a season average of 24. In the front court, Liebert has the ball in the sandwich down. Liebert number 40 on the Navy Blue. To the free throw line to turn it. You know to Robinson. Left hand on top of it. Goes. It didn't go from about 13 feet. He was fouled. Five fouls. Willard is out of the ball game. Five fouls on Willard. That is the fifth time that he has fouled out this year. Coming in to replace him is Baznight. Baznight has four fouls. One more and he's gone. But it's pretty nice at this point to have a 22-point cushion. David Willard is fouled out. Nice looking lad from San Diego, California. <laughs> Doesn't quite agree with the guys in the striped shirt. Talking to him there is Tim Bergeron, who used to be the head coach of Pittsburgh. Now does a great job as an assistant to Tart. Out of the ball game, Patio, and in come Eldridge Hudson in white, number 33. 
Robinson the free throw. The free throw is good. Robinson has been a good free throw tonight. He's 62% coming into this ball game. He's made all nine that he's tried. I'd say that's pretty good. Now he's made 10 in a row. That's probably his career high for consecutive free throws. Shooting 62%, he got almost better. 79, 59, that's 24 points for Dave Robinson. Banks gets a screen by Gilliam, shoots behind it to 19, no good. The rebound tipped by Hudson, no good. Rebound, Gilliam, throw it in left-handed. That's a great play. If he shoots it right-handed, he'll be eating leather for a month. Put it in the left hand and scored it. 81, 59, nine and a half left to play. Down the middle, Gorgeous. The free throw line shooting. on the way, no good. Traveling before the shot. Gilliam's got 21 points following that last basket. Next time the ball's dead, Byron Hopkins, that fine Chicago rookie. Rookies. Banks, another three-pointer. Banks has made his fourth three-pointer of the night. It's 19 feet, nine inches. A lot of people don't think it's far enough. 84 to 59. That's 25 points for Banks. Pass under the basket. And Jennifer Robinson knocked away and out of bounds. Last touch by Lieber under pressure. From Eldridge Hudson. Standing ovation for the defense of the Rebels. Timeout is called by the Navy. 9.06 left to play in the second half. UNLV 84, the Navy 59. This ball game's in the refrigerator. The door is closed, the lights out, the eggs are cooling, and the butter's getting hard. Back in a minute. Does this look good to you? Well, wait until you try it at Freddie G's Fish, Steak, and Chops, located on Convention Center Drive across from the Landmark Hotel, formerly Villa DS. Everyone has dreams of success, but it's really up to you to get started. With just one phone call to Nevada Gaming Schools, you could be on your way to a new and exciting career in the growing gaming industry. For 14 years, Nevada Gaming School has provided expert personalized training on all casino games and offers free placement assistance worldwide with over 96% placement this year. Call now, 367-1362, Nevada Gaming School. Don't keep success waiting. Book them at the Circus Circus Race and Sports Book, the newest action in town. Enjoy the latest state-of-the-art electronic wall boards and computerized wagering system. Watch giant screen TV, live televised horse racing from all major tracks. Winning tickets cash 24 hours a day. Catch your favorite games on 21 TV monitors. Circus Circus Race and Sports Book open 8.30 a.m. every day. Park free in the adjoining Skyrise Garage, third level. The Skyrise Circus Circus Race and Sports Book, midway on the Las Vegas Strip. Hello, I'm Carl Piazza. I hope you're having a happy holiday season, but as you know, unfortunately, all the turkeys aren't on the party tables. Some are driving cars, causing accidents, like this. If someone has ruined your holidays, maybe even your future, let's do something about it, now. We'll help get compensation for the pain and injury you've suffered. My staff and I want to make 1987 a better year for you. When you rent a car from Avis, it comes with a lot of people who want to make sure you're satisfied. Reservation and counter people, mechanics, managers and maintenance people. They're Avis. You may not always see them, but they're there. Rent a Cadillac Seville from Avis for only $45 a day. Ladies and gentlemen, the guy with the ball, number 10, Mark Wade, has tied the Thomas and Mack record for assists in a game, 18. He averages 11. The record here at Thomas and Mack, 18. The all-time school record established downtown convention center by Danny Tarkanian is 20. The ball in low to Gideon. He pumps over. He comes in deep around Robertson, puts it up and is caught by Robertson. The rebound is off, hit by Hudson, it comes out of front, taken by Bazman. Good play by Eldridge Hudson. Now the ball given off to Freddie Banks. Banks drives down the middle. Banks in the air. Puts it up and it's rejected. Back by Robinson. Underneath the pass is given up. And the pass goes to Gilliam who scores. 23. For Gilliam. And it's 86 to 59. The nation's number one team adding to that impact. Jump shot. No good to the left hand by Robinson. The rebound is off. No good. Robinson gets another rebound and scores. The first shot that he followed up was for Hopkins. 86-61-07 left to play. Ball given off from the far side to Banks. Freddie Banks out in front of Gilliam. Gilliam just with his heel on the three-point line. 
Gives the ball to Hudson. Banks has made four three-point baskets. Bounce pass in low to Gilliam. He pump fakes. He shoots over Robinson. Robinson blocked the shot. Comes off into the hands of Lieber. Now the ball to Wojcik. Wojcik front court. Wojcik plays as hard as though the game were tied. Free throw line. He goes close the ball by Bazdite. Front court, Eldridge Hudson. Hudson down the middle of Bazdite. All the way to the right side. Gillian picks it up. Picks it. Picked up by Bazdite. Good. It's 88-61. Bazdite with eight points. As Hart has rotated his big men. Robinson, Bazdite, and Willard. Willard is fouled out. 88-61. UNLV in charge. Now holding the ball and bouncing into Robertson. Robinson, he throws up the hook with 12 with Stoker. The rebound is off. Robinson steals the ball from Wade. The ball comes out in front. Sutton's got it. Wade is very angry. He thought Robinson fouled him. The ball in the corner of the key, and it goes to Hopkins. He's 15 footer in and out. No, the rebound tipped by Banks, but it can taken by number four, Fenton. Fenton holds it up for the United States Naval Academy. He's knocked down. No harm the foul. Fenton gets it back. And here's Sutton calling Fenton. I want to tell you. Pete Herman is angry. He is angry. Thought his man was fouled. And you know what? So did I. 88-61. Just under seven minutes left to play in the ball game. Baz Knight will take the ball out. Mark Wade's got it. It's 45 left to play. Wade Gittman. Bounce in low. Jennifer Gilliam intercepted by Robinson. Robinson gives the ball to Fenton. Neil Fenton. Neil Fenton from the throat. Pennsylvania is passed to the far side. Knocked away and out of bounds by Graham. And going into the bench over there with Graham was Cliff Reese. Ball belongs to the Navy. 6.35 to play. Look out. Contact. Down goes from Wade. No harm, no foul. And here, looking inside is Fenton. He brings it over the front of the key. And a nice shot by Lieber. Lieber gets his eighth point of the night. And it's 88-63. Wade with the ball. Bounces to Gary Graham in front of Tarkanian. Now to Gideon, three-point cut to Wade. Wade looks, gives to Gideon just above the free throw line. 17 feet out. Ball goes over to Gary Graham. Graham looking, gives it back to Gideon. Gideon with 28 on the 45 second clock. Now Gary Graham on the simulcast is double team. He comes down the middle, takes it over to the right wing, and that goes off to Wade. Wade in to the big man. Bad night. And Jimmy Curry shoots and runs away. Tumbles in. Does it count? It does count. It's a foul on the play. Nice soft bounce down there. So the story grows in length, and the scoreboard grows in numbers. 90 to 63. Baz Knight puts it up, and the foul is on Hopkins, the freshman. Look at that thing bounce around. That's what you call a soft rim. 90 to 63. Baz Knight would say, no, Chick. The rim is all right. I got a soft rim. Baz Knight left hand. No good. The rebound is taken by Robinson. Robinson picking up a lot of rebounds. We got him for 10 unofficially. And here's the ball belonged to Fenton. Fenton down the middle. Fenton almost lost the ball. Keeps it over here to Lieber. Stops. Fenton puts up and no good. The rebound is hit. And taken nicely in there by Eldridge Hudson. Boy, he's playing nice basketball. Very controlled basketball. He does a pivot through two men. He makes an over pass to William and he backs it in. Williams got 25, 60 in two tournament games. Boy, that was a great play by Hudson. The steal, the dribble, the no-look pass. Here's the ball knocked loose. Wade's got it. To the right is Hudson. To the left is Graham. Graham gets it to score. 94 to 63, 508 left to play. The running Rebels doing exactly that. Hudson's got the ball. Out of front to Reese. Reese back to Fenton. Benton into the post to Robinson. He turns, makes the pass, 15-footer no good. The rebound is off. Here we go. Hudson's got it. The lead-out pass to Graham. Graham back to Hudson. Stolen. Hudson digs it out. No look pass. Fast right score. Woo! Super passes. Two in a row, Eldridge Hudson. That one with his back to the receiver. That's for the highlight film, folks. 96-63, four and a half to play. The Navy shoots, a three-pointer no good, the rebound is off, Hudson, four on one fast break, no look pass to Gideon, 27 points.
Chris Gilliam. The assist to Wade. Wade's got 20 points. That ties the UNLV record held by Danny Tarkanian. Now here is a tough shot by Reese. No good. The rebound is off and a foul. Over the top. Reese. Or rather, excuse me, Lieber. And the UNLV players, many of them signaling we are number one into the ball game. For UNLV, Leon Szymanski. He's from Orange, California. And that's an easy foul to call. Well, I'll tell you, the two passes that Hudson came up with here tonight was something. If we've got them on the tape, they should be shown. Into the ball game now is Stacy Sianovic, number 31 in white. He's got the ball. Wade is out. He is equal to school record. 21 they give it. Today he's got 21, and that is a new NBA record. New N UNLV record, I should say. New UNLV record. 21 assists. What a night for Mark Wade. Three minutes and 50 seconds to play. Timeout is called. The score, UNLV 98, the Navy 63. Back in a minute. Now, on Royal West Airlines, you can fly to Burbank, LAX, or Ontario for only $29. No advance purchase necessary, but seats may be limited, so call now. 798-6444. Royal West, non-stop to Burbank, LAX, or Ontario for only $29. Just call Royal West, 798-6444. Where Fremont Street ends, the excitement begins uptown at the Union Plaza. Make track to the Union Plaza Diner for eight great round-the-clock specials, such as the Half Pound Deluxe Roundhouse Hamburger, the Tunaville Trolley Milk, Casey Jones Eggs Benedict, and the Streamliner Low Cal Plate. You'll enjoy the food, but you'll love the low prices in the Union Plaza Diner. The Union Plaza in Las Vegas, where you can live it up in oh so many ways. Live it up. The 1987 body. Join the Las Vegas Athletic Clubs at any of our three locations for $19.87. You guys were easy last year. Whoa, whoa, come on, admit it. You cheated. Cheated? Us? That guy was a ringer. No, that guy was a monster. Besides, much good for your complexion. <laughs> hey, and don't forget, we let you share our beer. Remember? That draft beer was unbelievable. That it yeah, was. Sure was. Drinking Miller Genuine Draft will remind you of the best beer you've ever had. Because it's cold filtered for real draft smoothness. It's beer at its best. Who? There's money right. <laughs> We mentioned earlier, UNLV makes their runs in spurts. They just had a spurt here over the last six minutes, 19 to 4. 98-63. In the front part, Wojcik. Bounce the ball to Turner. Down the middle around Hudson. All the way. Lay it up and in. That's a nice drive. And he got a good foul on Szymanski. Very good drive down the middle. And Turner will be the free throw. Turner's only a sophomore from Burke, Virginia. He's going to be a good basketball player. 6'7", 218 pounds. Szymanski, the guy that was called for blocking, is 6'7", 210 pounds, a senior. The Rebels have six seniors, three juniors, one sophomore, one freshman. All six seniors are going to get their degrees. 98-66, 337 left to play. And here we go with uh, Sianovic <laughs> handling the ball. Just like Teddy Howard spells his name. The ball comes over, making his first appearance, Lawrence West, San Diego. He's a transfer from DePaul. The ball into Hudson, 16 foot of the base, still good to be done, out of bounds by Szymanski. West is in, Lawrence West, 6'7", 205. West is wearing jersey number three. And down the floor with the ball is pass underneath. There, great play, and a foul on Szymanski as Robinson scored. That was about a 40-foot pass, rim-high, thrown by Wojcik. Quite a pass. 
Now that's 26 points for Robinson, averaging 30. Leading scorer in the country. Long pass. All the way under. That had to be at least a 32, 33 foot pass. Three point play is completed. And we've got him now making count those free throws and make sure I'm right. 11 without a miss. We're going to just double check that. I'm sure it's his career high consecutive. That's right. 11 straight free throws. He came into the game with a 62%. Now handling the ball is West. His brother Mark West plays with the Cleveland Cavaliers. Pass down the middle. Intercepted by Robinson. His bounce pass comes out to Reese. Reese goes the distance. Delays it. Scores it. He's fouled. The foul is by Graham. 98 71, two minutes and 52 seconds left to play. One thing that I really think is that this game is going to be a learning lesson for this young Navy team. And I'm sure that uh, Pete Herman might agree with that, their new coach. Nice man. He and Tart, two of the class guys. Reese is free throw knocked loose. The rebound is off. Free ball. Who's going to get it? It's taken by Graham. Graham out of the backcourt down the middle. Graham relents a little bit, still bounces the ball up and down. That's his prerogative, and now ball to West. Lawrence West holds it up. Graham into Szymanski. Back to West. Bounce pass into Szymanski. Szymanski turns, shoots for a jump and over, but he runs up, and it's taken by Wojcik. W O J C I K. Pass underneath the basket. Nice pass. Put up. There's a foul. The foul is on Ivanovic. It negates the block shot by Hudson. Two shots. Right now, Dave Robinson talking out there to the freshman Byron Hopkins, and that's what I mean. They can benefit from this game, even though it's a resounding defeat. There's the foul. Here comes the block that doesn't count. On the simulcast, trying to their 72nd point. It's put in by Reese for his seventh point. Robinson now has 28 points, and he missed at least half of the first half. He's 29 points officially. Free throw good. And it's 98-73. Seattle front court. C-B-I-J-A-N-O-V-I-C-A. Pass out of front to West. He fumbles the ball under pressure from Robinson. It's taken by Wojcik. Wojcik down the middle. Gets it to three-point line. Pivots on Sianovic. Comes around him in deep. Throws it up. It has to have a bounce, and he got it. That's 12 points for Wojcik. And it's 98 to 75. Two minutes left to play. And you know, of the 20,000 people, most of them are still here. They love their running rebels. You can talk about any show in town. This is the one the tickets are hardest to get. Now out of front, Graham's got the ball. You can see why. West has got it. Try to drive. Can't. Holds it. Gives to Hudson. Back to West. His first shot is a rebel. He hits it. A 20 footer. He just became eligible on Saturday night. 175, he transferred from DePaul's fine program. They're undefeated starting tonight's action. Here's the ball loose, stolen by Hudson again. While on his back, he does something he shouldn't have done. Threw the ball down the floor, but rode it back to it. 175. Hudson made a couple of passes tonight. I think that he thought, boy, I make three in a row. Here's the second drive, Wilson, and he puts it up for the ball, a blocking foul, and Szymanski didn't like that call. But it'll send Wojcik to the line for two. If Wojcik doesn't sleep well tonight, he's quite an athlete. I'll tell you, he has played hard. 100 to 75 with 113 to play, and Robinson is taken out of the ball game by his coach. And he played beautiful ball the minutes that he was allowed to play. He's under the hamper of three fouls at the midway part of the first half. 29 points. We also got him unofficially with 10 rebounds. Season average 12. The free throw no good by Wood. Next one is good. And they've made 25 of 33 free throws. The Rebels have tried only 22. All right, here's Sianovic, fouled by Wood. 108 left to play. Sianovic, well, he's got to have a broad back to wear that number and name, doesn't he? Three, six. We'll find out when we come back.